Adding physics to your bones in Blender has never been easier. You can simulate cloth, chains, jiggle effects, elasticity and hair using bones really quickly. But why bones you might ask? Using bones, you can easily export your animations into game engines ready to be implemented in your game projects. In today's video, we are reviewing Bone Dynamic Pro, a Blender add-on that lets you improve your animations by adding physics and dynamic bones very easily. If you want to experience how fast it is to add such behavior to your character animations or any kind of object animation that needs physics, you can grab a free version of the add-on to try it and see how it works. So, this is gonna be more of a breakdown or workflow presentation of how to use this add-on in Blender, starting from placing the bones, then white painting, and finally hitting the magic button provided by this tool. One thing before we start, if you are interested in the assets used in this video, you can find the character and animation in the Mixamo library. I have downloaded a female character with a long dress so that we can work on the physics of her clothes and chest. To do that, in the edit mode, I started by adding some bones in the areas of the mesh where we are gonna add physics to it. The more bones you add, the more realistic and physically accurate the results will be. But since we are not working on a highly detailed character, we can get around with only 3 or 4 bones for each falling dress piece. In order to avoid breaking Mixamore's rig, I preferred not to do the automatic weights. So, I started weight painting each bone manually. It was basically assigning vertex groups in the edit mode and then fine tuning it using the gradient tool in the weight paint mode. And for the chest area, it was just simple painting using the draw tool. But it's definitely not the final weights, as I'm going through them later in case there are some overlapping in the animation. Now, let's jump to the Annals panel and see what it offers. As you will find in the Pro version, in the free version you can find physics presets to select and you can enable bone stretching or chain mode and bake the animation. What's missing from the light version though is the cloth mode. And most importantly, the quick access to the advanced settings for adjusting the look of the physics because you can do that quickly without going through all the physics properties and the settings panel of the pro version allows you to edit multiple selected bones at the same time. The settings include mass, friction, strength, bending, elasticity and more. Going back to our model here, if we select the armature and switch to the pose mode, we can simply select the bones that we need physics and hit the add bone dynamics button and let the magic happen. By starting the animation, we can tweak the bone dynamic settings in real time and at the same time, you can check whether if we did a good job in the weight painting or else, if there are some clipping in the animation, we can pause it at any frame and adjust the weight a little bit until we are happy with the results. Alternatively to the add-ons and panel settings, you can select the objects generated by the add-on that are attached to the bones. In the Physics Properties tab, you will find the settings you need to edit their behavior. The final step of the process is to bake the animation. When you are done with the settings and you are satisfied with the look of it, you can hit Bake the Animation button. But make sure that you play the full animation at least once. Check Clear Constraints and Physics Objects and select the frame step you want to bake based on. Freezing your animation into keyframes will allow you to export it and use it across multiple 3D programs, especially when you are working on a game project. This is the way to export quick physics into your game engine. So, as you can see, the results you can get are pretty cool. You might need this tool for almost every animation as you can take it to another level with only a few clicks, which is just incredible. There is also another add-on from the same developer called Simplicate, which is also used to add quick physics to the animations. It generates cages to deform your model, in addition to applying collisions and soft body interactions, etc. We will talk about it more in another video. But here is the result when I combined both Bone Dynamics Pro and Simply Cage in a short mix demo animation. Let me know if you are interested in these types of add-ons, and if this is gonna be the case, stay tuned for the upcoming ones. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.